Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today's video is gonna be a little bit difficult for me because I am adding crystals to a Chinese set of nails and I just think crystals look so much better on matte nails, but here we go, we're gonna do it for, the, for you shiny folk because I don't wanna leave you out. So here goes, right, I've got some Madame Glam gel polishes. I'm using Stardust Perfect White and Light Lilac. I have got some nail sugar glitter called Social Sparkler, this one is going to be great for new year's nails as well as like any other kind of nails look how gorgeous that is <gasps> this has got to be one of my favorites and also i'm going to be using these reindeer gonks because i've not used these yet and these were out last year and i've not used them so we've got to get them in you can save 10 percent on nail sugar things using my code natmug10 and um, the link to i think the website is down below in the description box along with the discount code and you can save 30 percent on madam glam gel polishes using my code natmug30 also the link will be down below i'm going to start by applying a well two coats of white and lilac so we're going to have two nails white one nail purple and one nail with that stardust glitter but the stardust glitter nail i've only done one coat while that's curing i'm going to cut out the gonk that i want i'm going to take the corner one i'm going to cut around the excess so that we've just basically got the design so this is the i thought the stardust gel polish might make a nice base um it's not as it's just because I thought I don't want any gap although to be fair there wouldn't have been any gaps anyway so this stardust gel polish is optional I'm going over with a thin coat of Madame Glam's builder in a bottle and then what I'm going to do is using a, um, a cuticle tool I'm just going to scoop the glitter up and sprinkle it onto the nail and I want I want full coverage of this glitter because it's absolutely gorgeous so we're going to cover it we're going to sprinkle it everywhere sorry cover the whole nail um, I just was moving I was moving some bits around because you know I'm a I'm a faffer and I wanted to make sure there were absolutely no gaps whatsoever so we're going to skip forward because that took me ages once you're happy pop it in the lamp and then I'm going to encapsulate this in the the clear builder from Madame Glam Madame Glam's builder gel I do really like it but it's a little bit too thick for my liking um like I do like it but I'd rather it was a little bit looser, a little bit less thick. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but there we go. Can't be helped. Um, I've wiped the tacky layer off and I'm just going to file it into shape. Just make sure it's nice and smooth. And then I'll wipe off the dust. So for the decal, I placed it upside down on a stamper. And if, you, if you're new here, I, this is how I do my decals. I cut them out, place them upside down on a stamper. You just wet the back with some water. And after about 20 seconds, the backing just slides off. And then I'll just dab off any like excess water. And then I will stamp that onto my nail. And it's just really easy using this stamping method. This is the hard part, trying to get the decal smack bang in the middle. I'm sorry if you can hear, there's a man outside with a leaf blower. And there's some bits of fluff because I didn't clean my stamper off before I put the decal on, but I'll just get those off. Okay, so this is where we're at so far. I decided, to be honest, this set was just, I don't know. I feel like my Christmas sets aren't up to standard this year. I'm not quite sure what's going on with me, but I absolutely love Christmas nails. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'm rushing them a little bit. Maybe I'm, I don't know. Anyway, I put some what's this called nail and beauty excellences string gel across the kind of middle of this nail and i'm gonna i'm gonna cure it in the lamp i wasn't really sure what i was doing with this now it was a kind of wing it one and then i thought well let's do like a half snowflake i just i feel like i'm repeating things that i've already done this year you know and that i think that's what's bugging me the most is that i think because i've done nails for so many years it's really difficult to come up with things that are different and even searching for inspiration this year, I'm just not finding it. Oh, it's very sad. Makes me a little bit sad. <laughs> I'm like, maybe, maybe I'm losing my fire. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, sharp that's you're being so sad and dramatic. Okay, right, we're gonna add dots to our snowflake arms. I do actually end up adding a third one because there is a little bit of room at the bottom towards the center of the snowflake. 
So what I'll do is I've done my dots. I'm going to link them up to the arms. Just sort of, you can't really see because it's blurred. Just doing a kind of little curved line. It does get a little bit messy in the end. So I just kind of think, oh, just whatever. Just get it done, that's <laughs> I finished this set of nails at 10 o'clock last night. And it, by the way, last night for you watching this won't be the proper night that I won't be because it's actually, it's like the 9th of December right now. And I don't think these are going up until the week, the Christmas week, the week before Christmas. I don't even know anymore. I've, I'm losing track of all things. <laughs> See, this was me adding the extra dots. I tried to make them just a little bit smaller. And then again, I'm just going to link them up as well. But you can do any kind of snowflake design. If you Google, um, like nail art snowflakes or something on pinterest or instagram there'll be so many different designs of snowflakes you can do some like super easy and some way more intricate so just do something that you feel is at your level or you could push yourself give yourself a little bit of a challenge but just yeah do whatever works for you i'm going to add little triangles connecting the arms in the center here oh it's so annoying it's a bit blurry i'm really sorry it's hard to look at the nail and look at the phone at the same time to just make sure everything is, you know, 100%. <sighs> then I'm adding some, some dots here. I thought I'd just add some more detail to the top part of this nail. We're just going to do kind of like three dots going up and two there because I couldn't get a third one in. I've cured that in a lamp for 60 seconds. Then I'm going to go absolutely mad with some crystals. Those were Preciosa Aurum Gold crystals. These ones are Swarovski pointy back violet crystals. I've also got some Preciosa violet flat backs, which we're going to add, which for some reason I didn't show you. And the last ones there were clear flat backs. These are all non hot fix crystals. And I'm also using Rachel Wilder's Crystal Fix. All the things I've just shown you are available from the Crystal Parades website, and you can save 10% using my code NATMUG10. Get yourself a little bit of bling for Christmas. Right, so I've just put a blob of the crystal fix in the middle of this nail. And then I've just added three pointy back crystals into that um, blob to make a cluster. If your pointy back crystals are a lot bigger, there is a, I, I would recommend doing it slightly differently. But I can't explain it in the video because it's too long. Um, but I do have... I do have... If you go to my, my channel and... Um, look up crystal placement there's a playlist called crystal placement um, there'll be loads of different like videos in there with nails where I've used crystals and there'll be some with the clusters so if you're interested in making bigger crystal clusters like that then have a look at my my videos so this nail I'm making a snowflake I'm doing three I don't know why I decided to do three arms at a time I think I was worried that I was going to get it if I'd done all six I was going to make it wonky so I've done three and then what I've done is I have, I'm going to alternate the colours. So like the in the middle I've got violet and then previously I've done, was it gold and then clear? And this time I'm doing clear and then gold, I think. I'm not quite sure. But I'm just mixing up the colours a little bit. And I've used different sized crystals. So like the first ones that have gone out from the centre are smaller. And then the next ones are slightly bigger. And then I will add some... Uh, um, I'll add another crystal to the arms here and this is going to be so we've gone small big small and on this nail I'm not going to add caviar beads you could and it probably would have made the design look a lot more sorry if you can hear the leaf blower did I say that earlier there's a leaf blower man outside um it yeah it's a thing they always they, I always need to voice over videos when they're here <laughs> I'm hoping they're going to cut back our the bushes at the front of the building because that means I can even get to my gas meter. But I've been trying to get them to do it for over a year. It's ridiculous, I tell you. Um, right, so that snowflake was done. I'm going to pop that in the lamp. This what? This gonk. I like to give the gonks borders. So this one's going to have a crystal border. So I've placed my crystal fix on, and then we're just going to do a bit of a scatter design, making the arch around the gonk using a mixture of the violet the gold and the clear crystals and this one i've added some caviar beads on because there were little gaps between that i felt needed filling in i've done the same on the bottom 
and I've cured that for 60 seconds. This bit was the worst. This is why I don't like doing crystals on shiny top coat because I always think you should, if you're going to do it this way, you should always top coat afterwards so that you can get the top coat around the crystals so that it gives them more, um, it makes them more secure on the nails. However, it, I just feel like it's, it just takes so much time because you have to, I'm going to use my detailer brush just to get the top coat between the crystals of that snowflake and around the border of the gonk nail. But it just takes, it takes time because I don't want to get the, the top coat on the crystals because otherwise they lose their, their, they lose their shine and it will just look silly in my opinion anyway. Um, so it's just, yeah, it takes time, but I'm going to skip forward and this is them finished. Oh, so this is for you shiny folk. I really hope you like these. Um, if you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Let me know down below if you're team shiny or team matte. <laughs> I'd be interested to know. God bless. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.